What's up, gang? Hey, D. Tidwell here, Enduro MTB Training. I uh, want to show you something that you can do today that is very powerful in your ability to wake up your hips, your hip hinge, and the entire extensor chain of your, the back part of your body. Right now, I bet you most of you are sitting here like this, watching me teach you something. And I bet your posture is something similar to this. Hips are back, low back's rounded, Upper back is rounded, maybe sitting here like this, hopefully not reaching out too far here. This is a flexion pattern. Um, a famous uh, physical therapist named Vladimir Yanda, Vladimir Yanda um, actually called that a red light posture where it just says, I don't want to be spoken to, I don't want to be talked to, leave me alone type of posture. Um, it's also related to trauma, like um, uh, blunt or forced trauma something similar to a car crash, this type of positioning is what the body gets used to because of that um, traumatic incident. So um, we really need to, because we're such a flexion-based society and we can get really lazy on our bike as it relates to poor positioning as well, um, wake up that extensor chain um, like we've talked about before. And it's also very much um, in the Endure MTB training program that we sell online. The whole thing is about posture, hip hinge, core stability, uh, etc. So, this one thing is called the founder. Um, I am not the creator of it. It comes from foundation training. You can look that up, Google it. Um, it is very beneficial. It's something that you can do. In fact, I would recommend that you do it uh, when you wake up. It's a good way to wake up. Do it a couple times during the day just to break up this flexion pattern. Uh, and then do it before you, you go to bed at night. Um, one of the things about back pain is we have to train it. We have to activate this system. For example, if you have back pain, we have to activate it, and that is the glutes, the hamstrings, the entire extensor musculature as it runs up from the hips all the way to the top of my skull, in fact. Um, and there's a fascia line, we call the posterior fascia line, that starts right here runs all the way up the back of my leg, all the way up the back of my body, comes all the way to the front of my forehead. And that is a powerful um, fascial network, think of spider webs, if you will, that um, encases muscles. And that in itself can get tight as well uh, because of the flexion pattern. So, here's how we do this. It's very simple. Gonna get, I'll do it this way first, about shoulders width apart just like such. From here, I'm going to hinge forward at my hips. I'm gonna push my hips back, okay? Hips are going back. My knees are staying soft, but they're not going bent, okay? I'm hinging back. The weight of my butt going backwards creates softness in my knees, okay? Now I've got this good hip hinge. Spine is neutral, chest is here, okay? I'm gonna open up just like this. My palms are out and wide and my fingers are spread. My chest is up, but I am not, I'm gonna drop this arm, I'm not in hyperextension, okay? I'm in neutral spine. So yes, you will feel this in your lower back, but you'll feel your glutes, you'll feel your hamstrings, you may even feel some of your calves. You'll feel all the way up your back, especially when you go into this position here. Okay, so now that we're here, gonna hold this for about five seconds. Nice and wide, squeezing the shoulder blades together, head is neutral, it can even be in this position here, which is fine. And from here, I'm actually gonna bring my hands out forward, create a different lever arm, and I'm gonna push my fingers together. I'm gonna push them together, okay? Still maintaining this posture position. Now, when I do this and change my leverage, I should be able to sit back into my hip hinge about another two inches, pushing my butt back, without bending my knees. So I'm gonna push this together. You're gonna to find that that activates your core more. And what I want you to do is think about pushing your butt and your hands away from each other. So butt's going back, hands are going and reaching above you. And I'm trying to reach towards that part of your computer screen. Pushing together, okay? Looks like this forward. I'm just pushing them together. You'll start shaking and things like that. That's gonna increase that core requirement. Okay, hold that for about five to 15 seconds, then come back up. 
Relax, take a couple big deep breaths, belly first, chest second, upper respiratory third, and then do it again. I recommend three rounds of that, five second holds here, 10 to 15, five to 15 out here, excuse me, and do that three times. And you'll find that your posture will be better. Okay, you'll find that this entire posterior chain is now active. You'll find that your core is a little buzzing afterwards. You'll find that your shoulder blades up here are sitting in a better position, no longer rounded forward, for example, but up, okay, which is a good thing. All right, so give that a try. Do it regularly. In fact, the authors of Foundation say that um, you should do it for 30 days straight. Um, and I kind of agree because if you incorporate that in your lifestyle and we get back or we reclaim this um, entire extensor mechanism activation, it's going to do wonders for our, um, our mountain biking and our enduro riding, training, and racing. So that's your homework. Please do it a lot. Um, of course, I'm, again, going to give credit where credit is due. It's called The Founder. And you can find that um, out on the web, no problem. Um, so go investigate. Always looking to help you guys in every way. Check out Enduro MTV training on a regular basis um, for programs, personal coaching, long distance coaching, you name it, we're here to help. So any questions, send them to info at EnduroMTVTraining.com. Of course, you can always do that on Facebook too. Have a great day, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.